Hey everybody, this is Peter, and in this video segment, we're going to navigate the SourceFire 3D dashboard. Um, so we're not going to basically configure too much here in this video. We're kind of just show off the the new and improved 3D dashboard that SourceFire has kind of put on their product here. Um, I find it actually kind of cool, so that's why I kind of wanted to make a video on it as well. So you'll see here, this is our default dashboard. You'll see you have intrusion events, intrusion events by destination, and so on and so on. There's some times, though, where you want certain things classed together. So essentially what you can do is click and drag. You just basically pick up network compliance, move it over to another category or another section, do the same with compliance events. You can minimize uh, certain uh, windows if you're going to actually be adding a lot more. Let's go in. Here's just the status tab, a quick view. We'll go back to that in a second. So if we go back to summary, though, <clears throat> excuse me, you can basically drill in from this page as well. So it doesn't just show you, um, you know, little little events and kind of leave it, leave it at that. You can drill into one of them and actually look at the details. So in this case, our classification is uh, attempted administrative privilege gain. And you can see the actual message that's been displayed there as well. Really cool information. And also from this page, you can actually drill in and go into more detail as well. Um, one thing I wanted to show you actually that I find really cool that shows that you can um, really uh, customize the dashboard is we're going to go go ahead and press on that uh, addition symbol. Now we've got a new tab. Now what I want to do is add whatever widgets I feel like seeing in my dashboard. So I'm going to create my own dashboard. If we go ahead and click on add widgets, in here you'll see we have a bunch of new categories or we have a bunch of categories. We have analysis and reporting, miscellaneous and operations. So each one contains different widgets that we can add to our dashboard. If we click on operations, we have 10 different options here. So we can basically choose to see appliance status, current sessions, and so on. Let's go ahead. We'll, we'll click on <clears throat> current sessions. What else do we want to put in there? Let's put on maybe some uh, interface statistics or interface status, system load maybe, some product updates, Let's go back. Let's leave it at that. So we can basically <clears throat> go into analysis and reporting now and go ahead and click on a few categories as well. So if we want to see top 10, you know, we'll put that in, whitelist events, whatever it may be. When we're done, we click on done, and you'll see now you've created your own customized dashboard. Give it a second to load up, and there you go. Everything that you wanted on your dashboard is now displayed. So you don't have to basically deal with the defaults, guys. The defaults are just there to show you um, a sample of what you can do. Now, if we decide in our dashboard that we don't want a specific, excuse me, a specific box up there, you can close it. And it's very simple to do. It doesn't delete any information. It just basically gets it out of your view or out of your dashboard. So you can essentially just click on the X like you would on any other application. And it says, are you sure you want to remove the widget? And you say, yep, sure do. That's pretty much it, guys. That was just a sample of uh, the 3D dashboard with SourceFire. We're going to get in a lot more detail technically in videos coming up. Thanks for coming out, and we'll see you next time.